o saka pagtuo. O saka tingog. O saka katawan. Cebu Catholic Television Network. Network. sa INTV CCTN News Center. Kini ang balita sa alas 12. Uluhan sa mga balita sa alas 12. Hunta Provincial, misugod na og toke sa ilang budget alang sa sunod tuig. PRO7, nangandam na usab sa umaabot ng kasaulugan sa Pasko o bagong tuig. Mayumod to ako si Dennis Tabar, kauban sa Newsang Puwersa. Sa CCTA News Team, kami matod kaninyo sa mga balita sa alas 12. Karun sa detalye sa atong mga balita. Gisugdan na sa Hunta Provincial, pinagi sa Committee on Budget and Appropriations ang budget hearing sa matag departamento sa Kapitulyo nga giduso nga budget alang na sa tuwing 2020. Una, nga gituki kagapong adlawa ang budget sa Provincial General Services Office nga niduso o ga 240.1 milyones din ni Saka gikan sa 158.7 milyones karong tuiga. Matod ni Bernard Calderon ang ipi sa PJSO nga ni Saka ang ilang budget tungod sa 82 milyones alang sa pag-outsource sa mga empleyado sa Kapitulyo. Sunod nga gituki ang Provincial Health Office din ang buhatan na ngayo o 620 milyones sa tuig 2020 din wapay labot sa 1.9 bilyones nga proposed budget sa disisize ka provincial o district hospital alang sa pag-upgrade sa mga pasilidad. 6th District Representative Emery Lollipop Owano Dizon, Muduso o Balaod noon, aron mahimong State College ang Mandawi City College. Suportahan sa kadagkuan sa Mandawi ang Balaod noon sa Kongresista. Ang kasayuran ihatod ni Chris Ligan. Supertado sa Konsiho o ni Mayor Juras Cortes ang hiduso ng balaudo ni Kongresista Dizon kalabot sa paghimo ng State College sa Mandawi City College. Ang Executive Secretary sa Mayor, Atorny John Edo Ibanez, ningun nga adto sa Luna ng Giyokopahan sa City Jail, kanhi LT Office, ang tokoron ng State College. Matod pa ni Ibanez, nga dako kay og bintaha ang State College kay ang pundo nili magikan man sa nasudlong gobyerno. Kay tinuod, uh, dako ng siyudad sa Mandawi, unya, kinangla na kita o uh, tertiary na educational institution na makakater sa growing population sa Mandawi. Samtang sinik pa matuko ng State College, Mato de Atuna Ibanez, tukuran ang dua ka school buildings, ganun ay 24 kalawag sa ringan, ang City College, di agyapon sa Mandawi City Sports Complex, Usaka modular building kung mabalhin-balhin ang tukuron sa syudad aron mabalhin ra kini dayon kung maaprobahan ang State College nga gituwa ang subdan pagtukod sunod tuig. JLTO, MACTES, dako man siya ng area. Mauna itong himuon o uh, plano sa itong mayor. Mauna ito ang permanent nga lugar para sa ito ang Madawi City College. However, mintras tanto nga wala pa na wala pa na realize kay uh, Murag naghuwat pa ang City Jail nga mubalhin sa ilang bagong facility ng Antos Dungguan nag nagpasubmit na taron og proposals for kanang mga classrooms diri nga ibutang sa existing MCC dapit sa sports complex libre ang beranan sa City College apan limitado lang ang kurso nga gitanyag niini Chris Ligan CCTN News ang Cebu City Council ni Uyon sa 10 milyones nga initial nga financial assistance sa walo ka mga local government units sa Region 11 and 12 nga mao'y grabbing na piktuhan sa sunod-sunod nga linog sa Mindanao. Ang Dakbayan sa Mandawi nagahin usabog 8 milyones nga naghatod sa laing financial assistance ngadto sa 18 milyones pesos. Si Majority Floor Leader Raymond Garcia Moy Chairman sa Committee on Budget and Finance sa Konsiho ni Palabang og resolusyon pinagi sa iyang privilege speech atol sa regular session kagahapon ang budget at tukwaon sa local disaster. Si Mayor Edgardo Labilla nagkanayon nga posible karong adlaw makahatag na ang grupo ni Tumulak og rekomendasyon kon pila ang ihatag nga dunay ayuda sa siyudad og dunay angay nga tabang nga ipada paalang sa mga apektado. 
Office of the Civil Defense na nawagan sa katawhan o sa mga local government unit nga mutabang sa nagpuyo sa Mindanao. Kini, particular na sa mga apitado sa pagtayog sa sunod-sunod nga kusog nga linog. Ang kasayuran ihatod ni Decimi Padilla. Gihulagway sa Information Officer sa Office of the Civil Defense kung OCD-7, Riza Joy Hernandez. Ang Mindanao karon able sa tanang tabang nga pwede mahatag ng tunila. Kinagkinhanglan din sila og tabang human sa pagtayog sa mga kusog nga linog. Aso ni Fernandez katong mga local government units nga gustong mutabang makigalayon sa insaktong ahensya. Dungan sa pagbutiag ng ilang buhatan, andam nga mutabang sa gikinahanglan dito sa Mindanao. So mo visit lang mo sa among office or mo tawag lang mo sa among opisina na amantay Facebook account no kanang tanggulang sibil no gitnang Visayas og napod tay mga telepono no telephone number nga ang akong na-memorize nang mahatag nako na siguro kaning 2538730. So uh, tawag lang mo dito kay 24-7 tanga mo assist ninyo sa inyong gusto o sa inyong tabang aron magayran mo na mo no, kung asa na siya na to eh. butang dapita para mas labing sayo, no, labing maayo nga makaabot na na dito sa affected area. Kung Hernandez, gikinahanglan sa mga residente sa Mindanao ang water container na kapunduhan ng tubig sanglit nagnihitog tubig dito. Laing gikinahanglan sa mo ang banig, habol ang unlan, ingon man, ten, suguban pang klase nga pwedeng kasilungan sa mga apektado sa linog. Nagpasalamat ang OCD-7 nga dinhi sa Central Visayas, si Gobernador Gwendolyn Garcia muhatag og 20 milyon pesos nga ayuda sa Mindanao ug duna pay laing mga LGUs nga nipadayag sa ilang kaandam nga mutabang. Oh, niya, ang uban pang mga probinsya no ato pa na sila karong uh, nakita ato pa na sila karong i-follow up kay nagpakita pud sila sa ilahang uh, kanang uh, kahinam nga mutabang sila dito. Ang province sa Negros Oriental no ang province sa Siquijor. So ang uban pang mga municipality diri sa Bisaya ng OCD7 dunay rapid damage assessment and needs analysis team nga gipadala sa Mindanao nga gilang kuban sa mga personnel sa OCD-7 o Cebu City Disaster. Aron maoy mo tanaw sa kadako sa kadaot nga namugna sa linog sa Mindanao. Kung pinaagisab ni Ini, dito makitaan kung unsa pa ang mga hinabang nga gikinahanglan sa maong lugar. Desme Padilla, CC Tennis. Karong Desyembre 11, ang appearance sa Commission on Human Rights ni Adtong mga kuyog sa kanhi Clarine Misamis Occidental Mayor David Navarro di ang gibanhigan kinipatay sa miyaging simana. Nasairan nga ang nagpadana o supoy na ang CHR7 ng Adtong kanila. Ang kasayuran ni Hatod ni Desimi Padilla. Gibutiyag sa Chief Investigator sa CHR7, Neo Villarino, kagahapon, gipadala nila ang subpina sa mga polis nga sakop sa Police Station 2 nga naadihang naitabo ang pag-ambush patay kang kanhiklarin ni Samis Occidental Mayor David Navarro. Anong paghatag o katinawan kung unsa ginahitabo ni Adtong Adlawa? Uh, Gatong subpina also includes the Chief sa Station 2, si Major Sanchez. O katong polis nga na samdan, o katong mga gya sa Mahindra, o katong gya na kuyog sa uh, Starex van. Also, ato pong i-appeal sa itong investigation, although uh, tuan is lahat sa tuan is lahat karon sa Clarin, but still we will get them to uh, testify in our investigation. Uh, Doon naman tayo regional office nga to, Possibly that will be the venue. Pero Nobyembre 11, adlang lunes, ang appearance ni itong mga ipadadanog subpina di as a sage or seven. Ang itong local ng mga kapulisan is cooperative ang gina sila. Only they are hindered by instructions or directives from their superiors. Also coming from higher headquarters nila. So, kaning itong pagpadala ang subpina nila, hopefully they will cooperate, they will attend. It is only for their good also, no? Na makahatag sila kung sa istorya dilik na magpasulabi ang public speculation. Ang sinisab ni Villarino nga makikalayon sila sa National Bureau of Investigation kung MBI-7 nga maunay ni Himog Investigasyon sa kamatayon ni Navarro ng hinaot ang komisyon nga doon ay matampo ang maong law enforcement agency sa ilang investigasyon. Humanon niya sa pagpatimaw sa mga napadadanong subpina. Si Villarino miingon 
kon alang nila nga mo investigating team ang tanan kompleto na muhatag sila og report silang direktor o gipasa sa legal office aron pang evaluate sa unsay nakuha nila o kon dunay basihan aron mo rekomendar sila og pagpasaka og kasong kriminal o administrative charges ang legal mo himo siyang resolution sa investigation report Desmay Padilla CCC Human sa malang puso ug balinaon nga kalihukan sa kalagkalag gipangandaman na usab karon sa kapulisan ang umaabot nga Pasko matud ni Police Lieutenant Colonel Maria Aurora Rayos ang tipama ba sa PRO7 nga ilang giyawhag ang katawhan nga dili lang ma Magbinantayon sa ilang tasatag sa kakaugalingon, apan lakip na usab sa ilang kagalingon nga tungkaran. Sumapa ni Rayos nga dili maayong magpost sa ilang mga lakaw diya sa social media sama sa pahimangno sa ilang regional director sa PR7 nga si Police Brigadier General Valeriano Dilion. Aron dili usab sila masundan sa mga badlungon sa katiligban. Dugang pa ni Rayos nga mao tinguha nila sa kapulisan sa Central Visayas nga malinaon og luwas ang pagsaulog sa maabot nga Pasko o kompleto pa sa mga kamot sa 2020. Ilabi na kadtong mahiligon sa pabuto at tuli sa pagsugat sa bagong tuig. Mga to ito mga balita sa alas 12 sa ngan sa Tanang Kaubanan sa CCTA News and Current Affairs. Ako si Dennis Tabar. At ang iyang atong sayre 47 karong alas 5 sa hapon hangtod na sa alas 6 sa gabi eh. Up next, ang Santos nga Misa Manukad Live sa CCTN Chapel. Daghang salamat.
o saca pantu o saca tingong o saca katauhan Cebu Catholic Television Network Network In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, in the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Sisters and brothers, in this Holy Mass, together with our individual intentions, let us include in, per, in our prayers the souls of Monsignor Esteban Iser Binghai and Father Joseph Torres. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Together we say, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, by whose gift your faithful offer you right and praiseworthy service, grant, we pray, that we may hasten without stumbling to receive the things you have promised. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever, Please be seated and listen to the readings. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, Owe nothing to anyone except to love one another. For the one who loves another has fulfilled the law. The commandments, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not kill, you shall not steal, you shall not covet, and whatever other commandment there may be are summed up in this saying, namely, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. Love does no evil to the neighbor. Hence, love is the fulfillment of the law. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
Blessed man who is gracious and lends to those in need. Blessed man who is gracious and lends to those in need. Blessed man the Lord who greatly delights in his commands his posterity shall be mighty upon the earth the upright generation shall be blessed Blessed a man who is gracious and lends to those in need. He turns through the darkness a light for the upright. He is gracious and merciful and just. Well for the man who is gracious and lends, who conducts his affairs with justice. Blessed the man who is gracious and lends to those in Lavishly he gives to the poor. His generosity shall endure forever. His horn shall be exalted in glory. Blessed a man who is gracious and lends to those in need. Blessed a man who is gracious and lends to those in need. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Great crowds were traveling with Jesus, and he turned and addressed them. If anyone comes to me without hating his father and mother, wife and children, brothers and sisters, and even his own life, he cannot be my disciple. Which of you wishing to construct a tower does not first sit down and calculate the cost to see if there is enough for its completion? Otherwise, after laying the foundation and finding himself unable to finish the work, the onlookers should laugh at him and say, This one began to build but did not have the resources to finish. Or what king marching into battle would not first sit down and decide whether with 10,000 troops, he can successfully oppose another king, advancing upon him with 20,000 troops. But if not, while he is still far away, he will send a delegation to ask for peace terms. In the same way, every one of you who does not renounce all his possessions cannot be my disciple. Sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. 
sisters and brothers, mayong utto kaninyong tanan. In the gospel, Jesus uses the great crowd to give a lesson about the demands of following him. After all, a true follower of Christ is not measured always of what you have done, but what you have become. Jesus says, if anyone comes to me without hating his father and mother, wife and children, brothers and sisters, and even his own life, he cannot be my disciple. The used word hate no, needs clarification. Quite obviously, Jesus is not asking to harbor ill feelings or hatred against our family or against ourselves. He uses the word hate in order to deliver with great emphasis his message, which is not nothing should stop us in following him, not even our family, or not even our selfish interest. The pearl passage in Matthew makes this clear. Whoever loves father, mother, brothers, and sisters more than me is not worthy of me. It is therefore a question of priority, not of hurting people's feelings. God, not our self, not our families must stay at the top of our preferences because he is the source of our becoming. He is the source of all our being. In other words, you have to cut the unnecessary affections that hinder you in following Christ. The fact that we are called to live harmoniously with our father and mother, sisters and brothers, wife and children, these people could make the best of our relationships when they help us to see the truth more clearly or when they inspire us to follow Christ more closely. I remember when I was still seminarian, my mother used to remind me to sleep very early at night before Sunday because we have to attend no, the first Sunday Mass for me not to be late no, when I go back to the seminary. And in that sense, my fam family is not hindering me in following God's call. But when these relationships make us more inward looking, stop us from reaching out to others and lead us back from recognizing God's presence in other people, then the words of Christ would really mean a lot. Unless you hate father and mother, wife and children, brothers and sisters, you cannot be my disciple. The Lord also declares in the gospel, whoever does not carry his own cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. Because discipleship entails self-denial, self-sacrifice. A hedonist person cannot follow Christ because he will be preoccupied with his own needs and his own desires. One must free himself from personal ambitions and worldly cares in order to have time for God and for neighbors. It is when hearts treasured in God, all other treasures will be treasured rightly. I would like to repeat, it is when hearts treasured in God, all other treasures will be treasured rightly. Moreover, the disciples entails carrying of the cross. The person who is afraid of pain or struggles can hardly serve the good of other people. To follow Christ is to serve the poor, the sick, and the weak. Doing these things often is not comfortable and all involves a lot of courage. The cross is the only way to follow the master. There is no other way. There is no detour. The two short parables in the gospel are meant to illustrate the necessity of counting the cost of following Christ. Before constructing a tower, the builder sits down and calculates the cost to see if he has enough resources to finish it. Before going to war, the king studies carefully if he has the needed forces to win a first battle. In like manner, we are told to count the cost before following Christ. We are called to live simply so that others may simply live. Are we willing to give up some sinful ways or desires that contradict the gospel? Maybe somehow we ask ourselves. Are we willing to sacrifice our personal wants or the convenience of our family in, in order to promote the good of other people? So in this Holy Mass, becoming a true disciple of Christ is the biggest endeavor that we will undertake in this life. And we hope in today's gospel will inspire us to start considering our discipleship more seriously. I would like to repeat, we have to consider our discipleship more seriously. Please all stand. 
It has come to God the Father that may follow Christ consistently and be able to respond to the demands of discipleship. In every petition, let our response, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Pope, that the Pope, the bishops and priests may continue to show forth true discipleship. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may lay aside trust in material possessions and find our true strength in God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may not turn our back on suffering, but may accept the cross that come our way. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who carry crosses of physical, mental, or spiritual anguish may learn to walk in the footsteps of Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our deceased relatives and friends who have carried Christ's cross in this world may now enjoy eternal happiness in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our Father, you know the many different needs we have in this life. Give us the courage to take up our cross and follow in the footsteps of your Son, Jesus. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated and let us sing a victory song. Brethren, my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, become for you a pure oblation, and for us a holy outpouring of your mercy. Through Christ our Lord, the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is really right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift, since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim.
made holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At that time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. to celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection. We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have willed us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that by taking of the body and blood of Christ, we will be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Jose our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Show him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let the Savior's command and form the divine teaching we dare to say. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope of the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Together we say, Lamb of God, we take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, we take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, we take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. 
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. stand. Let us pray. May the working of your power, O Lord, increase in us, we pray, so that renewed by these heavenly sacraments, we may be prepared by your gift for receiving what they promise through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. of the Holy Mass is brought to you by Mr. and Mrs. Alfred and Julie Ko on family, Dr. Jean Raffanan on family, Mr. and Mrs. Rene and Nanit Avila on family, Mr. and Mrs. Lorenzo Bok on family.
na sunayan na daghan ang bibilib sa kaipigtibo sa talan ha plasyos oil. Sud mong inubo isip kargado. Ako kayo ang lawas. Hindi may edad na ta. Andaran sa Taitis, Riuma. Salamat na lang kay Dunay Talan. Ako trabaho sa opisina, holding nga mag-atubang sa computer. Resulta, may panahon nga manakit akong likod o kabaga. Naanda na ako, nga haplasan na ako o talan. Hayahay kaayo ang epekto. Ayos kaayo ang soothing effect sa talan haplasyos oil. Huwag tang agriwatisan at try this upagpanakit sa karawasan sa talan haplasyos oil. Ako si Mr. Rudy Romares, electrical subcontractor ng maong building. Kaniado nga wala pa kong magamit, ungko yung sakit akong tuhod, i-glockdown na ako. Akong mga lutaha, no? Labi na gikanta sa overtime. Di sa ko ganahan mo kaon, nindot na ang resulta. Kay karon mo agay ta sa rampa, diha, no? Mag-lockdown rin yung ko. Mga batanon nga mauahin na akong glockdown, kay kusog na akong mulakaw tungod sa paggamit na ako sa koy. So ay mo gamit sa koy, kay nindot ka ang resulta. Dagan tayong salamat sa koy. Herbal capsule, barato na, epektibo pa. Koy Herbal Capsule! Come 2021, the Philippines will celebrate 500 years of Christianity. Here in Cebu, the cradle of Christianity, Cebuanos will celebrate the gift of faith through Pagsangyao 2021. Pagsangyao 2021 is a massive, extensive, and creative event.